Hey friends, it's Carly here, and today I wanted to share a fun card that includes two wonderful things, coffee and rainbows. So I'm starting by creating an ink blended rainbow. When I ink blend with dye inks like Distress Inks or Catherine Pooler inks, I really like to use Bristol cardstock because I find that smooth surface is easiest to blend on. I also love blending brushes the most out of all of my blending tools. Since I'm going to be using this rainbow for die cutting, I'm finding it easiest to start with a big piece of cardstock and blend the whole thing. Then I have plenty for die cutting and I don't have to try to blend on little individual pieces. You can see I'm blending one color at a time and then blending a little bit where the colors meet to combine them. Once my rainbow's finished, I'm gonna set it aside to dry for just a bit and work on my card front. I've drawn a little light pencil line on the left-hand side so I know where to start my sentiment. And I'm putting the hope your day is grande sentiment in my misty. Now I don't want the grande part, so I'm going to mask over it with a little bit of low tack tape before inking. After inking the stamp, I remove the tape and then close the lid of my misty to stamp. Then I've got just the part of the sentiment that I wanted. Next I'm going to start creating the rest of my sentiment with alphabet dies. I want to add the words lattes and rainbows, but that will not fit on my card front. So to make it fit, I'm going to combine both positive and negative letter dies so I can overlap the letters and take up less space. The first L is going to be negative, so you'll be able to see a rainbow panel shining up through it. But I have to cut that panel down a little bit, so I'm going to cut it into strips. So you can see how that rainbow is going to show through that negative L die cut. And I'm just fussing a bit to see what color I want to show through, and then decide where to cut the next letter from the strip to keep my rainbow going. After running that strip with the A die through my die cut machine, I have my first negative die cut letter in the card front, which is the L, and my first po positive die cut, which is the A, to add on top. Now I use the A to help me decide where to put the next letter, which will be a negative T, and then I just tack down the T with a little bit of low tack tape and run it through my die cut machine. Now this process is a little slow, <laughs> so I'm skipping ahead, <laughs> but I'm just die cutting my letters alternating between the negative and positive die cuts to spell out the rest of my lattes and rainbow sentiment. For some of the negative die cut letters, I don't need the die cut like this R, but I do want that little inside piece. So I like to use my craft pick to remove them from the die and then use a little piece of low tech tape to put it on my work surface until I'm ready to adhere to my card. Now I've cut all my letters, both positive and negative. I have a few little letter insides saved and I've trimmed all my rainbow strips down to fit in the openings. Before I assemble, I'm gonna erase <laughs> that pencil line and hopefully any other little marks I have gotten on that card front in the meantime. And then next I'm gonna add the coffee. So I've got this adorable cup stamp from the Essentials by Ellen Latte Love and I'm gonna put it in my Misty so it goes just right off the edge. Then before I stamp on the card front, that I spent so much time die cutting, <laughs> I'm gonna test it. I keep a piece of acetate just for testing. I'll put it over my card front in my Misty. Then when I ink the stamp and close the Misty, it stamps onto the acetate and I can double check my spacing. Now if I'm happy with the spacing, I can move the stamp and totally test it again. But if I'm happy like I am here, I can just wipe off that acetate, um, ink up my stamp again and stamp onto my card front. For assembly, I'm just gonna use a glue pen. I'm gonna do some glue around the negative die cut openings on the back of that card front, and then adhere the little strip of rainbow panel. Then I'm gonna also use that same glue pen just to adhere the positive die cut letters onto the front. And I'm purposely going crooked because it's hard to line up <laughs> die cut letters. So I think just go wonky and crooked on purpose and it looks good. Now for the word rainbows, I realized I only had part of the rainbow strip. Luckily, since I blended that whole big panel, I had a lot of other strips that I could use, so I just cut it down. And then once the whole sentiment is done, I'm just doing a little Copic coloring. This is super simple and probably a little painful to watch, so I'll probably edit this down just a little bit for you. I just got three colors of brown and I'm doing some simple shading. So the darkest color on that left-hand side, followed by the middle color, and then I'll fill it in with that lightest color. To add the cool latte art design in the cup, I am going to stamp that stamp in embossing ink and then add white embossing powder and heat set. I think that's a fun touch that Julie designed in that stamp set. Then I'm gonna add those little letter middles back for the R and the B, just with a little bit of glue pen. And finally, last but not least, I love splatter, but I like doing it with a Copic marker and a Copic multi-liner. This kind of faux splatter technique 
is my favorite because it's way less messy <laughs> and I have a little bit more control over where the splatter goes. Now thank you so much for watching. You can find more information in the video description including a link to the Ellen Hudson blog where you can find more info about all the supplies here and this card. And of course we would love if you would subscribe to the Ellen Hudson channel if you haven't already. That way you won't miss anything. Thanks again and happy crafting.